How did Alabama become the white hot center of the schism within the National Republican Party? The Senate seat vacated by Jeff Sessions is up for grabs in a special election coming up next week, and the Republicans are lining up on two distinct sides. Mitch McConnell, the NRA, and most of the Republican establishment are strongly backing incumbent Luther Strange, the ex-Alabama AG who was appointed to the seat by the disgraced and resigned Governor Robert Bentley, some say as a reward for halting his investigation. Despite being at odds with McConnell, Trump has also supported Strange and will snub for him at a rally in Huntsville later this week, where he was endorsed by Sessions in 2015. Steve Bannon, who was recently outed as advisor to Donald Trump and is the owner of conservative powerhouse Breitbart.com, Mo Brooks, Sarah Palin, Chuck Norris, the old guy from Duck Dynasty, and other members of the populist arm of the party and those who carry the religious conservative base are backing former Alabama Chief Justice Roy Moore. Bannon's website has been wall-to-wall -wall more leaning coverage of the race for the last several days and Mitch McConnell has spent as much as $8 million through various PACs to support Strange's campaign. So why the face-off? In the last decade, you've seen a conservative branch of the Republican Party increasingly willing to attack incumbent candidates during primary elections. The Tea Party famously ousted House Minority Leader Eric Cantor in 2010 and has targeted other high-profile leaders such as John Boehner, Paul Ryan, and McConnell. With Steve Bannon overseeing the campaign, Trump defeated party favorites like Jeb Bush and Marco Rubio. For Bannon, the Alabama campaign is a new opportunity to oust establishment Republicans. He views victory in Alabama as the first step in stealing other primary elections in states like Mississippi, Nevada, and Arizona, reshaping Congress around his own ideology. For McConnell and other establishment party members, the election means the difference between a senator willing to toe the party line and an ideologue who could fight them at every turn and may threaten their legislative agenda. The fight within the Republican Party is a big one that's stretched over at least a decade, but it's all come down to a showdown in Alabama next week, where one of two candidates will win a seat that may represent the future of the Republican Party. For Reckon, I'm Ian Hoppy.